Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam. Parents ask, what can I do to get my child to love salat, prayer? And it is a very, very critical question. I mean, at that age, can a child really understand the, the concept of salat other than imitating what they see from their parents? Can a child really conceptualize that love? So the question is, how can I get my child to love Salat. Can they really conceptualize that concept of love? Because it's hard to feel that reciprocal feeling. For example, if I love my child, my child loves me, they will feel that, right? They will feel that desire that uh, of, of being with me, of, of being hugged, with, of being fed, of being nurtured and taken care of. So how can they develop something similar where they feel the need to pray? They feel like, wow, it's a lot. And what the age? Prophet told us that you should start teaching. Start teaching the children about salah at the age of seven, okay? And by the age of 10, if they don't pray, then you should actually punish them, okay? So you see that gap of three years, seven years, this is the time that most kids go to school. They start learning better, understanding better. But what about before seven? You don't pray at all. You don't tell them what prayer. No, they see you. They imitate you. That's the stages of development of the child are, are amazing. You know what I mean? Ali radiallahu has a beautiful statement about you know that at the beginning you're just playing with them then you become like their friends their companions so there's stages of development that you need to understand as a parent so at the beginning what can you do you just exemplify it's called you know guided exposure or it's called you know uh, showing best practices okay you're basically showing best practices so let them see you pray and then you see that they will imitate you then you slowly incorporate in their education, their tarbiyah, stories about Allah. Because it's not about the, the prayer that they have to love necessarily. That's going to be a byproduct. It is Allah that they have to love. So a lot of parents focus, okay, prayer as the movement, as the act itself. But actually it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you have to love for you to love the prayer, the process that takes you towards Allah. Because what does prayer do? Salah is the connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So that's the process. But who is the objective? Allah, right? So you have to focus to tell the child more about Allah, stories of the prophets, about um, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes and names and the stories of the Quran, the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love of Allah, the punishment of Allah even, because that's even love is, is balanced between that. So... By doing that, when they know Allah, their aqidah is strong. And that's a mistake a lot of parents do. They don't focus on aqidah. Once the aqidah is strong, now the child would love the process to get to the objective, which is Allah. You understand? So, mimic first, then focus on developing the connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where they internalize it, they develop that. Yeah, it, it, it is unseen. But you say, like, look. How, why do you have mom and dad? Who gave you mom and dad? It is Allah, right? So then the child understands, oh, wait a second. This is tangible. My mom and my dad, the love that I feel from them is because of Allah. So even Allah is the author of love. He's the one that put that love between us, right? So all that is connected to the creator. Then the names and attributes. Then what he has given us. Then you as a parent say, look, we have a house because of Allah. We have a job because of Allah. We have food because of Allah. And Allah can take it away. It does not mean that he does not love us. Even the test and the pain and everything that we go through, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Like if a child falls down, it's a great teachable moment to tell him, look, Allah loves his servant. Even like he, it might not be a sinner, obviously, because he's a child, but he gets to conceptualize that, that even that little scratch is for us to get closer to Allah, to remove the sin. To, you know, because Allah loves us so much, right? So it's beautiful, right? If you can conceptualize it to them like that. So then they develop, develop that love of Allah, His attributes, understand. And then, of course, the process will come through. Pray together, of course, that's very important. And tell them about who you're doing it for. Intention. We can start talking about intention. Because if the child, as they grow older a little bit, if they don't see you, if you're not there, they kind of slack off a lot of times. So teach them early about intention that, look, it's about you and Allah. It's about you're doing this for Allah. Don't slack off. Right? So if, I believe if you follow these steps, inshallah, the child, bi ta'ala, will develop the love of Salah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.